Well, hey guys. <laughs> well, hey guys, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and today I wanted to share with you 30 facts about me. So I was tagged by a joyful home to share 30 facts about me, and I did a video a couple months ago about 50, 50 questions or something that I don't know, it was a tag and it was 50 questions and so I answered the 50 questions. I'm hoping that these 30 facts are going to overload or overlap I mean. Um, and then also on Instagram I was tagged to do something that was like 20 facts. So I, I feel like I'm sharing a whole lot about myself. <laughs> so I'm going to rattle these out and you're going to know all about me. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm forgetful. So I say that because I may have overlapped some of these things, but I'm really, 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 really forgetful. I have a brain like a goldfish. There are certain things that I remember really, really well, like, I can't remember. <laughs> um, but when it comes to conversations and important facts and things, I can't remember. I'm, it's like a goldfish. I love writing in black ink and I would be exclusive to black ink. I hate writing in blue pen. I try and switch it up every once in a while, but ugh, I don't like it. So I go back to the black ink. My middle name is Joy. I have a thing and it really irritates my husband and he has been trying to sit down with me all week long to fix this problem. I have empty photo frames all over my house and it's embarrassing and I don't know why I don't have them filled because I have thousands of photos of my family and things that I want to frame but I just I never do it and it really bugs my husband. Speaking of my things, my thing is stars. I love, love, love stars. I've got barn stars all over my house. Usually it's like a nice little black star. Sometimes I'll like add a little star next to my name. It's just a thing. It's, I don't know, it's like a signature thing. You know with Sweetly Home when I do my like thumbnail, I always have that heart and the line through it. In every other area of my life, it's usually a star that's somewhere in my house or something. It's just stars, I love them. I once had my hair cut in a pixie cut. I'll try and insert a photo. This was not my doing. I had went in expecting and asking for a razored bob and I had told the guy, and this is like the fourth time that I'd been to him, where he had cut a razored bob. Uh, I told him that I was moving to Canada and he got a wild hair and decided to cut my hair short so that I wouldn't have to get a haircut for a while. Like that's what he told me. And he turned me away from the mirror and being the naive idiot that I am, didn't think twice about it. And he cut off my hair. I was in tears and I didn't know how to say what the heck did you do. I walked out of there, I had been wearing a hoodie and I put the hood over my head and I felt like such a boy. I love pixie haircuts. They are the cutest, cutest thing, but I could not rock it. I couldn't do it. It was awful. I am the oldest of three girls. I dream of moving to the country someday, and so does my husband, and we actively look all the time for a home with property, and hopefully that will happen in the next year or so, but every day I just think about moving to the country. I hate the look of books. Like if they're on a bookshelf, the visual clutter of that drives me crazy. And I don't even like it when they're turned around and all you see is the pages so it looks more uniform. I still don't like it. I just hate the look of books. I love to read. I love, L-O-V-E, love to read. I just don't like the look of books. So if I could, I would put all of my books behind closed doors. If I had a day to myself, I would love to sleep in. I would go out for lunch by myself. Um, and then I would go shopping and then I would come home and I would paint my nails and I would relax and I would watch YouTube videos or a movie or Golden Girls and I would enjoy it for all it's worth. Speaking of the ultimate gift that anyone could ever give me would be a weekend to myself in a hotel. to want to be a foot model. I don't think it would work out so much anymore, but I really, really, really wanted to be a foot model. 
When I was in high school, I was in our theater class. We had theater one, theater two, and theater three. And when you got to theater three and you graduated from theater three, you could continue to take theater three. So I took theater my entire high school career. What? I was actually the president of our theater class. Not that I really got to do a whole lot, but I was, I was voted the president of our theater class and in two productions, I was the lead. My favorite animals are penguins and polar bears. And speaking of polar bears, I actually have what is known as a polar bear diamond for my engagement ring. So on the girdle of the diamond, so basically where the top kind of connects with the bottom, so that little like thing, the girdle around, uh, there's actually a microscopic engraved polar bear with the serial number of my diamond. It can only be seen through a diamond microscope. We got like a special certification and it tells you when the diamond was mined and it was uh, mined in February, which happens to be my birthday month. Um, and I didn't know my husband was going to get me a polar bear diamond and it's a Canadian diamond. So I don't know. It's just really cool. And hence lots of polar bear connections. <laughs> Speaking of February, February 21st is my birthday. And funny enough, my father-in-law's birthday is February 20th. Have you ever heard people say that they don't know anybody who likes to do laundry? Well, I do. So if you've ever said that, now you know someone who loves to do laundry. I love it, it's my favorite household chore. Cake and penguins are my favorite words. I just like the way they sound. I love to keep a meticulously cleaned vehicle. I'm talking like Q-tips in the vents and spotless, spotless interiors. However, my husband is on the opposite side of that chain and I have children and it is not that way and it really, really drives me nuts. A long time ago, uh, we held a fundraiser and what it was was a car wash, but it was like a detail kind of car wash. So people would come through and we would detail their cars and we had different stations and I was on the waxing station and there were two other guys who were doing, so we had like two lines of cars and the two guys were together waxing cars and I was by myself waxing cars because Chica knows how to really wax a car and Chica used to keep a collection of car cleaning tools inside my vehicle. And I just thought it was really funny that I was a, a Chica like waxing these vehicles and these two buff dudes had to do it together. So I love a clean car. When I was a kid, I used to collect and keep all kinds of bugs, usually grasshoppers, ladybugs, and frogs. Our church was kind of in this, well, it was, it was in a rural area, and so there was lots of nature around. And it seems like I would come from church every week with a new creature. I love them, but don't ask me to pick up a frog now. When I was a kid, I was kind of a leader of the neighborhood kids. I seem to always have big, big ideas, namely putting together newspapers, carnivals, things for sale. I remember one time we all made crafts, like nature crafts. One was like a half a walnut shell and we glued like little forget-me-not flowers in the walnut shell and then we actually sold them to the neighbors to the little old people neighbors and they bought them and I was forever coming up with these ideas like um a bike rodeo we had and yeah several newspapers but I was always always coming up with these ideas and wrangling everybody into doing them I really 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 want to can this year big time my mom canned everything when we were younger and I never learned how to do it uh, I think probably because I moved away like I moved away when I was a young adult and so I never really learned how to do those things for, from her because in high school I could have cared less um, and so I kind of missed that window of opportunity so my goal and hope is to go home this summer and can with my sisters and go pick peaches and cherries and the whole nine yards and put up a whole bunch of fruit and veggies in my pantry. Speaking of canning, we are putting in our very first garden this year. And I'm so nervous because it's so not anything I've ever done before. But I am super duper excited about it to kind of like put it all together. And every day I think about 
the warm weather and being out in my garden and weeding and watering my plants and harvesting them and it makes me really excited. Also when I was in high school the reason why I didn't learn to can was because I was going to concerts like all the time. I was a huge Christian concert junkie and I loved local bands and not so local bands like kind of farther away but still not professional but like you know loved it. I thought I would marry a rock star with blue hair and it was just yeah I have seen like major Christian bands like Newsboys, DC Talk, Michael W. Smith. I have seen them I don't know probably like 10 times maybe not Michael W. Smith but he was at like every festival that I ever went to um yeah I loved it. Once upon a time I was actually at a school shooting I don't say that flippantly, but um, when I was coming up with this list, for some reason that just popped into my mind. It wasn't when I was in high school, it was around when there were lots of school shootings in the 90s. Um, and this particular one was n didn't, wasn't held at a school, but it was done at a school event. So my youth group had went to this particular town uh, and we had like a youth rally with a bunch of other church youth groups from the area and we actually watched a video on the end times and um, which that stuff was so big in the 90s and then we went pet golfing afterwards and um, my youth group like the our pastor drove a school bus and so he drove us uh, on the school bus, so we went to this petter golfing place, and this high school was having their eighth grade, I think it was their eighth grade graduation dance or something like that, um, and the petter golfing place was like kind of attached to that. Uh, there was like a, like a, a place, you know, an indoor place where they were having their, their dance, and then um, there was petter golfing, and we heard the shots. Um, a boy had shot the teacher and I think he also sh I think he shot another student and we didn't realize what was going on of course who thinks that and we got on our bus right away because somehow the news came out that there was a shooter and so we got on the bus right away and one of the male youth leaders actually was kind of chasing uh, the kid with who had the gun um, he was he was an adult the male youth leader um, and so girls from this eighth grade event were like coming onto our bus, like people were like coming on to like kind of seek shelter because they don't, didn't know what was going on. Um, finally the police got there and we hightailed at home, but it was really crazy. And we actually had, because there was myself and two friends that were with me that we went to the same school, we actually had to have uh, counseling and we had to have like debriefings done because we were a part of that. So very tragic, very sad. And the kid ended up going to jail. I was going to Google and see if he's still in jail or what, because sometimes murderers don't get very long in jail, which is a which is a shame. But anyways, there's that fact. To totally switch gears, I also dream of having a cottage on the lake. That has been a dream of mine forever and ever since I was a kid. So someday I really hope that happens. <laughs> Before I dated my husband, I never really dated anyone. Um, I sort of had a boyfriend when I was 13, but um, I, don't, I don't really count that. Um, but all through high school, I never really dated anybody. Um, and I sort of actually even took a year to kind of just say no I'm not even thinking about anybody and then I joined a program called Master's Commission uh, which is an intense discipleship program for college age students in your first year of that program you actually aren't allowed to date at all anyways so I kind of did like two years of no dating um, and it was just an intense time to kind of focus on my relationship with God like to kind of keep boys in the background and then um, yeah then I ended up meeting Shane and the rest is history. And speaking of Shane, this year we celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary. We hope to go away on a trip, though neither one of us can decide where we want to go. I have no tattoos. I used to want them. 
Um, but I'm really glad I never got them because I don't think I would really care for any of the designs that I once wanted. Um, not that they weren't very valid in that point in time, but let me just say, two of those designs included stars. And though I love stars still, I don't know if I'd want them on my body. So no tattoos and probably will never have them. And lastly, speaking of tattoos, this isn't a tattoo, but I have had my ears pierced several times. So two um, on the cartilage here and two on my earlobe, two on this earlobe, one on this cartilage. I had my trigus, trigus pierced, which is this thing right here. And I had my nose pierced, which I really miss my nose ring, really miss it. This cute little diamond stud. But I had to take it out when I started work and it made me really sad. So I think about re-piercing it, but then I think I'm too old, so I don't know. Not that anybody who has their nose pierced at this age is too old. I feel too old. So anyways, <laughs> there's 30 facts about me. Everything you could possibly want to know in this video and on the internet that you can find about me. So if you want to do 30 facts about yourself, I would love to hear them. I find these videos really fun because you can learn quirky little facts about people and it's kind of fun to share those funny little things that make us all kind of who we are. So if you plan to do this video, please let me know because I'd really love to watch it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you have a really great day and I gotta go take care of my son. I'll see ya, bye.